We're finally live. Woo! All right. Um, everybody's uh, eardrums are probably bleeding now from that. Sorry, guys. Uh, but sorry we're late. We've been trying to get Zoom to work for the past 45 minutes so Ravi could share his screen. Unfortunately, that didn't work, so we're using Live right now. Um, but he shared some screenshots with me, so we'll be looking at that. Uh, and yeah, Ravi went from 6K to 15K per month over 10 days using one simple sales technique, and we're going to talk about that on the live. But uh, let's just let you introduce yourself, Ravi. So take it away, man. Awesome, guys. Uh, well, first of all, thank you, Andrew, for having me on here. I know that. Um, this group is incredibly valuable, so I hope I'm able to add some more value to it. I apologize to everyone that we kind of told that we're going to be at 10 o'clock and now it's 1045. Uh, you can blame Andrew for it, guys. He just got a new MacBook yesterday and it's <laughs> down. But anyway, quick story about me. Uh, so I essentially, I, I grew up in Florida. I'm in the panhandle of Florida. I uh, went to Florida State University, my whole life, I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to make that big lawyer bucks and like crush it and making $200,000, $150,000 a year uh, and and kind of have that safe, secure corporate job. Graduated from Florida State in 2016. As soon as I graduated from Florida State, uh, my father was actually diagnosed with lung cancer. So I, instead of going straight into law school, I had to take a year off. I moved up to Atlanta to kind of help my dad out. I decided to actually spend my time wisely and study for the law school admission test, LSAT. If anybody knows what that is, uh, it's essentially like the biggest determining factor about where you go to law school. So uh, while I was up there taking care of my dad, it was like I was pretty much waking up every day at like six o'clock, doing about three, four hours of LSAT studying. Then I would drive my dad to chemo and radiation. We'd be doing that for two to three hours. Then I'd drive him home from chemo and radiation and I'd be studying till about eight or nine o'clock at night. So I was putting in like 12 to 15 hour days studying for else the law school because I thought that's really what I wanted to do. Um, and essentially what happened is right around the time I was about to take my LSAT, my law mentor, this guy I was interning for, kind of asked me, he was like, so why do you want to be a lawyer? And I was like, oh, I just want to make a lot of money. He's like, you understand that our lives suck, right? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, dude, I work 80 hours every single week. He's like, yeah, I'm making $250,000, $300,000 a year. But he's like, I don't have any time to spend any of that money. I don't ever see any of my family. Like, I don't get to do any of this. And he's like, you sound like a pretty smart guy. There's more than one ways to make money and you don't have to go to law school. And that like, I mean, this, you have to understand, like, up until this point in my life, I was like 4.0. My law school was everything to me. And this guy kind of blew my mind. <laughs> and uh, at that point, I pretty much like started looking online, how to make money online. I uh, ended up taking the LSAT. I scored in the top 10 percentile and I could have gone to any law school of my choice. But I kind of decided to say, fuck it, take a leap, much against my whole family's wishes, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. I uh, decided to start my own business, started with Ty Lopez SMMA and kind of graduated from there into Dan Henry's Facebook ads for entrepreneurs. And uh, yeah, that kind of got me to where I am right now. That's awesome, man. Um, sounds like a crazy freaking journey too. And I just want to say what's up to everybody. So how are you doing, Brett? Um, let's Brett. When you guys hop on the live, give us hashtag live. If you're on the replay, give us hashtag replay just to love. Love to know that you're here. Uh, Yosef or Joseph? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Um, what's up, Robert? What's up, Todd? Jeff? Woohoo! So you started uh, your agency not too long ago. It was in November, right? Yeah, I uh, so took the LSAT in uh, August of last year and then kind of was playing around. I was like, fuck it, decided. Oh, well, actually, funny story was essentially I saw on my Facebook, one of my friend's dads kept on posting about all this social media marketing stuff he was doing and looking for, you know, potential clients. And I was like, dude, this guy's crushing it. Like, I want to be this guy. He was literally my essentially my ex-college roommate's dad. And so I reached out to my roommate, ex-college roommate. I said, hey, man, could you put me in touch with your dad? I'd love to see he's crushing it and what I want to do. And I would love to learn from him. And I still remember the funniest thing ever. He messaged me back. He's like, dude, that's actually my business. It's my agency. 
and my dad works for me. And I was like, <laughs> holy shit, like that blows my fucking, I was like, oh, okay, I can do this. Like if this guy can do it, like I can definitely do this. So that yeah. kind of gave me the boost of confidence. So yeah, I got my first client in November of last year. Yeah, so you're around, you're, you're making five figures a month. Um, what has that journey been like from November until now in uh, July? Sure. So uh, before, like I told you, I graduated college, no job, moved to Atlanta. I was racking up credit card debt because I didn't, I was studying and I was taking my dad to chemo. And so, I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars in credit card debt that I was like, oh, once I'll be a lawyer, I'll pay it all off. No problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so pretty much got my first client in November, a plastic surgeon near where I lived um, and started doing really well for him. Then reached out to my cousin who runs an e-commerce store. And I was like, oh, if I can do this local plastic surgeon, I can do a $50,000 a month e-commerce store uh, and did him for a few months too. So I was li living on 2K a month for, uh, for about it's five, six months till like April of this year. I mean, it was a struggle and I'm sure everyone here can understand. It's, oh, it's yeah. hard, like and client attraction, which is why I really wanted to do this live. I'm so happy Andrew was let me get on here. I think getting clients, I think everybody can relate that delivering results, you guys know how to do that. Like what we do delivering results, like you can figure that part out. That part's not the hard part. It's the part of literally not only getting a chance to get in front of someone to pitch them, but actually closing them and convincing them like, all right, you should invest your money with me because I can give you these results. You know what I mean? So it was, I was living on nothing for a very long time, but these past few months I went from two to 6k uh, I was doing 6K for a few months. And then like Andrew had said, and the whole point you guys are listening to me, in the last 10 days, I went from 6K to $15,000. And I, I mean, that is actually a higher number probably by the end of the day today. That is awesome, man. Um, how are you doing, Brad? And Joseph again. What's up, Aaron, Robert, Jodine? Thank you guys for being here. Um, I think we'll just get right into the method. Um, so you want to just explain what you do and how you were able to do it? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So to give you guys kind of a background story of it, uh, I am in Jeff's inner circle right now. Uh, I'm obviously a part of Andrew's group too. And one time Andrew was running some kind of special on the two hour uh, HBO special or whatever for him and Jeff talking uh, in front of a group of people. And this was when I was still doing like nothing a month. And I was like, you know what, whatever, let me put a little money into this and let me just see what happens. I highly recommend you guys watch it because that was really how I went from the 2k to the 6k in the first, like literally few days after watching that. And I won't get into too much about what that involves because I don't want to give away Andrew's secret sauce here, but, uh, it pretty much is like creating a Facebook profile that confirms that you're doing what you're actually doing and leveraging organic Facebook traffic uh, to actually get new clients. So I was like friend requesting 10, 15 business owners and like local Facebook groups around me every single day, or I'd have like my VA do it every single day. And then I would be posting testimonials, like knowledge, anything I could find that other people were doing that was getting a lot of engagement on there. And that kind of built up my Facebook profile so that when people would look at it, say if I sent them a message, like I'm about to tell you guys today, or if I was doing anything, even offline, they could literally look my name up on Facebook and kind of see I am who I say I am. And so I definitely, this Andrew didn't ask me to plug this in here, but I definitely recommend doing that uh, HBO special because that really opened my eyes and kind of set me on the path that I'm going down right now. Um, and then I also am a big fan of Nick Robbins and he kind of talks about power of video in 2018. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid to kind of get in front of a camera. Uh, I know I was when I was starting this out for sure. Obviously, Andrew is very comfortable in front of it. You see Jeff very comfortable in front of it. But I mean, Andrew, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I imagine when you first started shooting videos and first started putting your face out there, it was kind of probably a little awkward, right? Absolutely. If you watch my welcome video in the group, it took me about five hours to shoot that <laughs> minute video. I had to stop, re-record over and over and over because I was stumbling over my words. And yeah, it, it's, it's, it's uncomfortable. It, but then you, you're you super fucking comfortable in front of the camera now. I saw some of those Loom videos that we're gonna talk about. 
Um, but yeah, it just comes in time. Just keep doing it. Yeah, and honestly, like Nick Robin says, like Andrew just said, like video is really the way to do anything in today's day and age. Like you, everybody else is sending direct mail, everyone's sending emails, everyone's sending regular text messages. But the really way you kind of separate yourself, especially in this digital age, and especially if you're talking to someone across the country, maybe not in your town, is to shoot a video so someone can kind of see your eyes and kind of see your face and know a little bit more about you. And so that was when I started using videos. And I'm also in Grant Cardone's sales university. So like he talks about the power of video in that as well. So I kind of incorporated both of them to do this tactic I'm gonna tell you guys about today. But just to kind of pre-frame it, if you guys are uncomfortable with video, I'm telling you this guys, just I started for all of my students that I'm teaching this to right now, I literally, every time we talk with them, we're not sending text messages to each other. We're literally sending quick video messages on our phone to each other in order for them to get a little more comfortable sending this. And I'll tell you this, 10, 15, 20 videos that you guys have made and sent out, it's gonna be like second nature to you. And now I'm like insanely comfortable with it. Uh, and I really actually like hearing my own voice and seeing my own face, to be honest with you. Uh, that could be a little narcissist thing. But so to kind of dive into, sorry, <laughs> to kind of dive into essentially the method of what I am doing, I'm going to tell you guys this because I know that's why you're here. It's not to listen to Andrew and I ramble on about other stuff. Essentially, this is kind of the top level of it, guys. So taking what I just said about how important video is and how important it is for people to see your face and know who you are, I am incorporating that with reaching out to potential businesses. So a lot of the times, if you guys have probably noticed you're scrolling on Facebook or you're scrolling on Instagram, I spend way too much time on both of those. I'm sure everyone here does too. And you see those ads on there. And yeah, you're gonna see stuff from like Ty Lopez and people that are already doing well. So you can ignore those, but you'll see ads for local pizza places around you, local restaurants around you, local gyms around you. And they are absolute shit. I mean, they're literally awful. Like you, if you know what you know, you like what we do as people with digital marketers in the sphere, you'll see these ads and you're like, what the hell is this person thinking? Like you are throwing away ad dollars. And that's what you kind of need to pre-frame your mind is like, you're reaching out to these people to literally help them. You're giving them free advice because they're doing awful at their job right now. And most times it's literally going to be the business owner that just threw up a send message ad out there. And you can work with that really, really well. I've actually sold, I know Andrew does a lot with bots and this is something that, you know, you can tell your students too, if you want to, Andrew, I've sold a lot of bots to potential clients because I think the hottest thing out there right now is Facebook messenger and like the messenger ads. And if you click enough of those send message ads, Facebook's obviously going to start showing you more because you're in their eyes. You're like the person that responds to messenger ads. And so I'll see those messenger ads and I'll click in there and I'll see if they have a bot set up and they obviously don't. And you guys can literally ask them a question, right? So you see a messenger ad, you ask them a question, you click on it. It's going to have that really basic generic bullshit thing. It's like choose five responses and ask them a question and see how long it takes them to respond. These small business owners will respond a day or two later. And you can actually use that in a video that you're about to send them. Then I'm going to explain to you guys how and say, Hey, listen, man, Here's the ad, a screenshot of your ad that I saw and I clicked on it. I sent this message. It took you two days to answer me about like, how do I make a reservation tonight? And I've already found another place. And now I don't like you guys because you don't answer back. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's, and you, you'll see it when you guys are doing it. But so you find these ads of people that are running stuff uh, on Facebook or off Facebook. I've taken pictures of billboards on, on roads as I'm driving. I just went on a trip to North Georgia, some wineries up there. And I took pictures of billboards as I passed them. I made my girlfriend pull the car over when I saw a billboard on there. And I was like, let me take a picture of this. Uh, I've heard Nick Robbins talk about literally going into trash cans and dumpsters and uh, pulling out like pamphlets and ad brochures and being like, hey, like this is where your ad dollars are going. I literally got this out of the trash can, like a video, a selfie video of him in the trash can. And you pretty much use that against them. And you use a software, which Andrew, I don't know if you've used it before called Loom. Yep. Um, okay. Perfect. So it's called Loom, L-O-O-M, guys. It is a free software. Download it. You connect it to your Gmail, whatever you want to do. It goes in your Chrome extension if you have Chrome. If you don't have Chrome, you're doing it wrong. Uh, and you can literally, it takes two seconds. Like I'm not shitting you guys. Two seconds to click on it and click start a video. 
and you can shoot a video of your face in this small corner of the screen and of the people of your web page screen share and send it to potential business owners through Facebook. And you can say, I'll give you guys a few little scripts here in a second and I'll let Andrew kind of touch in here and see if he's ever done this before. But I, and that's also why I make my Facebook something that converts and converts because that's the number way, one way I'm reaching out to people is on my Facebook and I'm sending it to their Facebook page. And so the first thing they're going to do, maybe even before they look at that video, is they're going to click on my face and kind of see, all right, what is this guy and why should I listen to him? You know what I mean? Love it. Um, wait, let me hide that. Uh, so do you want me to start sharing the screenshots that you sent over to me? Yeah, sure. So you can kind of start on the first one uh, that I sent you. That's not necessarily the, uh, the follow up one, but the one of my messages. Cool. Let's do this. Whoa. Don't read it. <laughs> uh, let's go in here. Let's go here. Go to the third one. That might be a little bigger one. Oh, that works. Cool. All right. Uh, so as you guys can kind of see here, so essentially what I'm doing is every day when I'm going on Facebook and I'm scrolling down there and I'm looking at all these different things on Instagram, Facebook, I will screenshot people's um, actual ads that they're putting out there that are shit that I know I can help them with in my industry, not in my industry. You guys know what your niche is, but if you're like me, you're probably not niche down too much right now. So uh, you can do local people, you can do anywhere you want, but I literally am screenshotting these ads that people are putting out there. And then once I'm screenshotting them, I'm hopping on Loom, I'm pulling up their Facebook page or their ad on a screenshot, and I'm pulling it up on my uh, actual, uh, on Facebook itself. And I'm literally saying, uh, you know, hey, so-and-so, in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips as to why this ad sucks. You can be honest with these people. People like genuine honesty stuff. And I pretty much walk them through, and there's a few ways you can do it, but I walk them through why what they're doing is wrong, if that's targeting, if that's ad copy, if that's call to action, if that's link on an Instagram, maybe, maybe they have the link in the copy of the Instagram, whatever it is. You guys know what an audit is and what a bad ad is. And you can pretty much take what their awful ad is, tell them why it's awful in a nice, respectful way, and maybe give them a few tips that you can kind of say, hey, this is what I would do instead. And I don't even sell myself in that video. I'm literally like, hey, here's some free value. I wouldn't be targeting these people if I were you. Like one of these people in there, if Andrew shows you the screenshot, is literally I sent her a message. It's a real estate community around me. And I was scrolling on Facebook one day and she sent, it says Kelly West, it's Ridgewalk. She sent me a mess. Uh, I saw the ad. I made the video. It's two minutes long. Download it. All I said was, hey, listen. You're, you're marketing a community with homes at the minimum price is 1.5 million. And I, as a 24 year old, number one, am not looking to buy a home, let alone a second home. And I can't, I'm not Andrew or Jeff. I can't afford a $1.5 million home right now. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're wasting your ad copy on me. Why are you showing it to a 24 year old? Sent that out there. She literally messaged me back. She called me on Facebook messenger. I've never had that happen before. Called me through Facebook Messenger and said, her first words to me were, you're a badass. I said, thank you. She said, when can you meet next week? Met with her, showed her exactly what I was talking about, what she should change, and ended up closing her for 3K uh, five days later. That's fucking awesome. Um, would you mind sharing uh, one of the videos in the Facebook group? Yeah, I will. What I'll do is if, uh, you know, I know you guys have these cute little like comment things where people can comment and if they if they comment, they'll do it. If you guys comment, what do you want to say, Andrew? What, what's our catchphrase for this? Uh, let's do Ravi method. Ravi method. Yeah, that's right. So in my inner circle for Jeff Miller, which is killer, by the way, uh, he everyone that's been doing it's been sending me testimonials because they are literally getting meetings from this and people messaging back oh my god i can't believe you sent me because you got to keep in your mind guys to a business owner it looks like you got like a professionally made video and you it took you 45 minutes to do this whole thing for them and they're literally blown away by this and they little do they know it took you not even two and a half minutes to make this and send this to them but they don't need to know it so everyone in the inner circle for jeff miller is calling this the rubby method or the rubby technique so let's do if you type in Ruby method or hashtag Ruby method on the thing, I will go in there personally and send you guys each a link to that exact video that I sent this community development that got me $3,000 in five days. Fuck yeah. Hashtag Ruby method down below for that.
I like the name of that. That's I like that. We might make that a thing. Yeah, you should you should patent that shit. Patent it. Actually, I might actually do it. Like that's actually a thing that's been crossing my mind. You know, everyone's been saying it. And glasses are sold separately, though, guys. Okay, so um, <laughs> that'll be the one time offer up. So. <laughs> <That was good. laughs> <laughs> what a so you have a Trello board too. Tell us about that. Yeah, so essentially the way that this works, in my eyes, it's just like emailing, it's just like phone calls, cold calling, direct mail, whatever it is. It's a numbers game. Um, and and it really honestly is. I'm telling you guys like the highlights of the ones that worked out well, and I have testimonials of the people that sent out one video and they closed the deal from it. So it does work and it does work well, but if you wanted to really work really well, you need to number one, you need to be sending out a ex- number of messages every day. I send out five videos every single day. No bullshit. I'm, I literally roll out of my bed before I brush my teeth, take a piss, do anything. I literally send these five videos out. My hair is crazy. I don't care because if I don't do it now, I know I won't do it later. So I'm sending five out every day and that's just filling the top of your pipeline. And the way I'm kind of keeping it together is I create a Trello board. I don't know if uh, Andrew kind of wants to show you guys where it is right now. It's and I organized really, it. The picture is small. really freaking small, so I don't think it's worth should, it. But. That's fine. But essentially the way it is is I literally – if you guys don't know what Trello is, it's like a to-do list app. Uh, a lot of people use it like that are in our sphere. And I pretty much have a whole list of a, of a category that says send value videos for. And it's oh. essentially the business name. I got it. Perfect. Let me show it in a second. And what it is is essentially the business name. Perfect. That's it right there. Uh, if Andrew would not mess it up. <laughs> nope. Listen, I'm, I've been dealing with this the whole time, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, uh, what it is is that you can pull it up. I'm going to talk. What, essentially what it is is the business name. And I literally have taken a screenshot of the ad that I made for them. And I dragged it into that folder with their business name on it. So all I can do in the morning is kind of scroll down there. You can see right there. Steph, sell Tampa. Damn it, Andrew. It's okay. There we go. There we go. Steph, sell Tampa Realty. So as you can see on the like kind of the background on the left hand side, it says send value videos for. I have like 150 of those that are going down right now, guys. And I just that little attachment on each one of those is actually the ad that I saw from their thing that was absolutely awful. And I'm taking it. I'm making the video, and then I'm I have a whole follow up sequence that. I won't get into too depth now because uh, I got it from Grant Cardone and it's it's pretty money, but it's really long. But it's I mean it's like phone calls, Facebook message, personal message, direct mail. I mean it goes on and on. But I kind of drag them through a cycle, and and the follow up is a big big part of it as well. But that's essentially how I'm doing it, guys. It's literally you create a, some kind of way to hold yourself accountable. You send a few every day. No excuses, like no excuses why you shouldn't be doing this. If you don't have clients right now, if you guys are watching this and you have one or two clients, you have time then. You have time. If you don't have clients, you have time. And so, yes, is this a scalable method that when you're making 50K a month, like, and you're sending out value videos every day? Probably not, to be honest with you guys. But right now, if you're making anywhere less than 15 or 20K a month and you have 30 minutes in the morning to do this. This, in my experience, is the most effective way to reaching out to business owners right then and there. And if you really wanna be someone amazing, which I'll show you guys in this video if you type in hashtag Ruby method, uh, I I actually created a funnel for that real estate person, that property development person. I said, listen, this is how awful this is right here. If I was you, I would actually do something similar to this and I would take them to a page that looked like this. And it actually said their business property development, a little information about their property and, you know, fill out your info, full name, email, phone number. And they, it looks like I built, if you guys use ClickFunnels, you know how it easy is to share and copy and, and share. I looks like I built a full website out for this lady. And it was like, I mean, she's like, she was ready to butt out, whatever Jeff says, wallet out, ready to give by campaign yeah. pretty much. She gave me your money. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, if you guys want the video that Ravi shares with these business owners, hashtag Ravi method down below, that would be super freaking valuable. If you guys are getting a lot out of this, smash the fuck out of that heart button and that like button. Um, and somebody said, I suck at tech. You're completely right. Uh, (laughs) that is true. Uh, there are a shit ton of people that want a video from you, so have fun sending those out, Ravi. All right. 
Fabricio, Matt, uh, Paulson. What's up, guys? Um, so you have an absolute master at client acquisition here. So if you guys have any questions, Please. drop them down below. Uh, Ravi is here to answer all of them. Um, but yeah, are, are there any last thoughts that you want to share on uh, your method? Yeah, I mean, I would just say this, guys. This is kind of combining a few different methods together. It's not revolutionary. I'm just going to be transparent with you guys. It's not revolutionary. It is effective, though. Uh, but I think a big part of this all is the mindset, getting comfortable doing it and doing it every single day. So my big recommendations, guys, is like to your friends, instead of sending regular text messages, shoot a video message on your phone and send it out to them that way. And I promise you five, 10 times after that, you are gonna be so comfortable sending messages, it's not even funny. I was very uncomfortable in the beginning when I was doing it. And now, and so I don't get in my mind, I'll create the video. And before I even set, or before I even, I mean, before, I don't look at it and I send it out immediately. I literally don't review the video. I shoot it two and a half minutes, three minutes, five minutes, whatever it is, depending on how much value I wanna give them. And I don't even review the video because I know that if I go back and look at that video over again, I'm gonna find a million things that I did wrong in it and how I you know, coughed or sneezed or picked my nose. And, and, and I don't wanna go over there and have to do this over and over again. So shoot the video, send it out. They will appreciate it and you have plenty of other people to reach out to, but don't second guess yourself. I have people sending me messages all the time. Hey, will you check out my video? Will you see if this is right before I send it? By the time it takes me to look at it and review it and then send it back the thumbs up or thumbs down, you could have already sent 10 more videos and it's a game of numbers. So just know that it doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to be doing it. Yep, absolutely. That's with everything. Just start doing it. You'll get better at it. And then like three months down the line, you're like, holy shit, how'd that happen? Yeah, everyone go look at Andrew's like original first video on his group <laughs> page and like go look at some of his videos back in his personal maybe Facebook page. And kind yeah, of that will, that will give you motivation. <laughs> I, uh, I actually deleted the first interview that I did in here with Louis. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know what? Even on top of this, guys, I saw somebody else do this the other day, and I'm going to use this myself. Feel free to take it. So I save all the videos I do in a Google Drive, and I, the ones that I mess up, and I'm like, shit, or I'm like, or whatever it is, and I'm messing up, or I sneeze, or I do something stupid, I'm going to create a blooper reel and actually use that and send that out to people myself so that they can kind of see how authentic and genuine that this is. And I've had a lot of responses from that also. Um, am I still here? That's oh, I am. Is uh, Andrew still here? Yes or no? I don't know if Andrew's here or not. Are you guys just watching me? Let's see here. Uh, am I on here? Someone message me if I'm still doing this. If not, if I am, this is, will be embarrassing. Oh, wow. Uh, someone message me on Facebook if I'm still, oh my, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my. oh my God, Andrew is, oh my God. Let's see here. All you, yes, it is just me. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll go through and answer all these questions. Uh, I'm going to have to create my own Facebook group that doesn't have technical difficulties, guys, because Andrew is awful at this. Um, let's see here. No, Andrew's genuinely a good guy. I know we are. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Here, Andrew's calling me. Man, what a disappointment. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm still on here. I'm going to try to answer these people's questions, but uh, you can ask me the questions here. That's what people are sending me. They're saying I am alive here. Well, will you give me the questions? Cause I can't see them. All right, guys, I'm going to answer these questions here. I'm so very sorry that we're doing it this way, but this is essentially what it's come down to. And I told you guys I would deliver. So All right.
You guys are going to love the video I'm going to send you out. I promise it'll be worth all this. What's All right, I'm going to just go ahead. Jeff said, what's step number two after they see your video? So first thing I do as soon as I see, you can do two things. You can either put it immediately into the, uh, you can download the video from Loom and put it into the messenger and use that and send it out to them if it's small enough and it's a little easier to lower barrier to entry. So it has to be like under two minutes and you can see if they've seen it, but you don't know if they've actually watched the video. Another method is to send them a Loom link and on Loom will actually let you know when someone's literally seen the video. And if someone has seen the video, then uh, you can send them a message right back and say, hey, um, you know, I wanted to know what were your thoughts on my video, would love to hear more. Uh, I'm gonna keep on. All right, Fabricio said, Jeff sent me, these are perfect. Uh, Fabricio said, what's the best way to send emails? Uh, one of the best to send them email software. All right, Andrew, I'm hanging up to you. All right, guys. Uh, Jeff Miller, what's step two after this video? I told you that. Uh, you'll see the chat. What are the three things you should do in every video? Three things you should do in every single video. Uh, number one, at the very beginning of the video, you should say exactly what they are going to do, what you're going to tell them. You don't start by saying, hey, I'm Ravi Abubala. I run a like, you'll see me do that in the beginning. I've kind of changed it around a little bit. But uh, instead of saying, hey, I'm Ravi Abubala, I do this, I say, hey, so and so in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can change this campaign around and get 30 new clients in your door today or how you can get a lot lower cost per click and more leads coming in or whatever you want to say, because these are business owners. They don't have time. If it's a doctor, especially you got to catch them in that first five, 10 seconds and convince them they need to watch your video. So say that in the very beginning. That's my number one tip for you. Number two is going to go over a screenshot of their actual ad. So it makes it look like you took the time to kind of do a little research on them. Little tips since you guys are staying with me too. In Facebook now, you can go to business pages and say, click on info and ads on the bottom. And you can literally look at the ads that people are running and you can screenshot that if you don't have time to wait to see them on your screen and say, listen, I know you're running this, uh, as this is the ad and kind of break down their ad really quickly. And then the third thing that I would recommend you guys doing is don't sell yourself, right? Don't say in that quick video, yeah, guys, I do this for a profession and I only charge $1,500 a month and you should just reach out to me and give me your money. Don't do that. Instead, you can say, you know, hey, I hope this was really helpful. I hope this was really valuable. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And I'll promise you this, guys, if you have a good enough value video and if your Facebook profile confirms what they are saying, they're gonna reach out and say, wow, this guy really knows what he's talking about here. Um, what if you send a video on the messenger they have not looked at it? Send another video or call them. Okay, Jodine, uh, essentially what I would do is, I have a, a very long follow-up sequence, but the first thing I do will send it in their Facebook business messenger. If the Facebook business messenger doesn't work, I will actually send it to their Facebook personal messenger. I will go on their website, go on their Facebook page. There's usually like a team member section there and I'll look at it and say, okay, that's the person. And I'll say, hey, I saw you're managing this page or hey, I know you're the owner of this, here's this video. So first you give it to the Facebook business page. If that doesn't work, switch it over to the Facebook personal page and then you can take it from there. Um, should I start sending videos to business owners that live near me or business owners that I've already niched in? Uh, once again, Jeff kind of does this and I agree with him in the very beginning, I, I don't niche down. I'm still not niche down. You guys know what I'm doing right now a month. Uh, I will eventually niche down. I know it's important, but if you know you can help them, like if it's a person, if it's a gym or if it's a chiropractor, like everyone knows, dentists, everyone knows how to do that. Uh, you can actually help them by literally saying, all right, I know how to get 30 customers for that guaranteed. So you can send them out. If it's something you guys have never done before, don't just get trigger happy and start sending messages out that way because you're like, oh, wow, I love this. Um, Jeff says again, should I worry about what's already on my personal profile or start today? Great, great question, Jeff. Uh, yes, you should just start sending them today, guys. Over time, you can change your profile to being something that confirms and converts who you are. But a lot of people aren't gonna have testimonials. A lot of people aren't gonna have like results so don't sweat about it too much and don't get in your head. Stop telling yourself you're literally going to come up with a million reasons why you shouldn't be creating this, why you shouldn't be setting this out and why this video is wrong. And one of them might be, oh, I love you said I need to have a Facebook profile that looks good. Screw it. If your value video is good enough and you're providing enough information on there and it sounds like you know what you're talking about, 
then uh, then they will they will message you back. I got my first client doing this without actually having a nice looking Facebook page. Um, all right. Uh, sounds like Mike Jeremy Haynes method, but I'm assuming you have a massive follow up sequence set up. I do, Paul. I have a pretty good follow up sequence set up that both I use for myself and my virtual assistants kind of do for that. Uh, it's not insanely massive, but it does span 25 days. Uh, and I actually got that from Grant Cardone. Um, Joseph Newton said, how are you finding ads for local businesses? Joseph, if you're scrolling on your Facebook and you are, it's going to say sponsored posts. If you're on Instagram, it'll say sponsored posts. I promise you, I live in a town of, I don't know, 10,000 people and I see them over here. So wherever you are, I'm sure that you're going to find them there. Uh, or you can go to people that you want to work with or that you is a warm lead or whatever it is. And you can actually end up messaging them because of, uh, what they have under their info and ads there. Uh, Andrew, how do you use the internet? Yes, Andrew, this, this is my first interview I've ever done live in front of this many people. And Andrew has made this the most difficult thing I've ever done before. Um, yeah, one of the great ways to kind of target or talk about on these ads guys is the targeting. Like if you're getting targeted, like I'll show you in this video, hashtag Ruby method. If you're getting targeted for a $1.5 million house and you're 20 years old or 18 years old or 25 years old, they're wasting their ad dollars. Yes. Maybe you could afford it. Maybe you're Andrew or Jeff and you're rolling in the dough, but chances are you probably can. And it's all about the most effective use of those advertising dollars. Um, so that's pretty much everything. Uh, I'm sorry about all the technical difficulties. I have to go. I am about to do a um, training for one of my real estate brokerages. I'm doing a sales training for them right now. So I kind of have to leave for this because this was all very, very late. But I hope you guys got a lot of value of, out of this. Please put uh, on there hashtag Ruby method if you want the exact video that got me a call back within two minutes of sending the video as well as a uh, $3,000 deal within five days of actually shooting the video. Send the videos out. You guys don't have any excuses. Uh, thank you again very much for having me on, Andrew, and uh, figure out your shit.